Hey guys, John here. Today's patch is called Zombie Dance. I was kind of in a creepy mood, so I made a creepy patch. Makes sense. So, uh, yeah, this is what it sounds like. All right, if you like the patch, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's dive into this thing and see how it was created here. Let's go to our pattern here and let's listen just to this synth by itself. And as usual, let's turn off our effects here and just see the sound generation of this patch here. So not too complicated. A lot of the effects are going to bring out the characteristic of this patch here. So starting off, our waveform is going to be plastic scissors, and this is going to be down one octave here, 16 voices of unison, and the standard 20% of detune. Now this is going to be modulated by LFO1 here, and this is going to be almost about full. It's just uh, maybe a sliver off here. And this is just modulating the waveform here, so we have a different waveform throughout the uh, series of the sound. For a second oscillator, it's going to be down one octave. This is going to be basic shapes, and this is going to be all the way at the top at a pulse wave, seven voices of unison, and 20% detuned. And last but not least, for oscillator number three is going to be up seven semitones, so a perfect fifth, and this is going to be post-modern pulse. And as we see this moving here, this is going to be driven from LFO2, so right over here. And keep in mind, LFO1 has this type of round shape, so you grab this little no node here and kind of drag it up a little bit to taste. And then LFO2 is also going to be driving the filter one cutoff here, right over here. And this is going to be a dirty 12 dB uh, cutoff here, or, or slope. And it's going to be at about 3K, and modulation about 32. And the envelope's pretty basic, a pretty quick attack at about 0 0.005 seconds. The decay, one second, sustain 0.654, and the release 0.928. Now moving on to the effects where it kind of really drives it home. So first of all, we want to EQ it a little bit. And this is mainly to cut out the mud here. So on this cutoff, about 237.3 hertz and taking that down about 7 dB. And then over here on the high band, we're kind of just boosting up uh, 4,269 hertz at a resonance 10 and the gain about 2.345 dB. More so sculpting it, taking out what we don't want and kind of accentuating what we do want. Next, we have a multiband compressor. And as I always say before, this one is really to taste because depending on the signal, the, the volume, the tonality and all that stuff, it's kind of up to taste for you. So for our low, 16.3 dB, band 11.7, high 16.3, the attack is going to be 50.65, release 50. And these bars, like I said, it's kind of to taste how you ever want to move them and it's going to be 100% in the mix. Now we have our delay here. So this is gonna be a stereo delay, one over eight for both sides. Feedback, 35.66%. Mix, 22.91. Cutoff, 10.79. And the spread at one. Let's play a little different part here and make it a little bit uh, easier to listen to. Now we have some distortion to really drive it home. So this is going to be on soft clip, the drive 4.3 dB, the mix all the way to one. And no post filter here. And then we have a last filter here, analog 12 dB, and the cutoff is about 18K. So that's pretty much how this patch is made. It's not too complicated. Um, yeah, if you'd like to get it for free, there's a video description. There's a link in the video description below, and you can have it for yourself and your songs, and have a zombie dance of your own. So with that being said, let's play this out with zombie dance. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.